So I walked into this Peridium video and ladies and gentlemen, internet, my name is Peridium, yeah, and it's about time we talk about one of the most important aspects of Big Brother, the competitions. Such as flipping over mattresses, falling onto your butt a lot, and listening to a giant bread roll with shades on shout the word butter until you want to shove sticks of butter into your ears. That's right, welcome to the two-part video series all about the greatest competition beasts in Big Brother. This is a long time coming and there's a lot to dig into, so we're gonna be talking about the top five greatest female Big Brother comp beasts in this video, and you can expect the guys video shortly after. Before I get to number five, I wanna quickly mention how I got to this top five because it involved a lot of number crunching. Just like with my Survivor Challenge Beast videos, I created two lists. The first based on win percentage, the second based based on how many comp wins each player has. I ordered the players based on their success and then found the average placement for each player between the two lists to ultimately get to where we are. There is also a bit of subjectivity on my part, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. That being said, unlike a lot of my other videos, this one isn't so much based on my subjective whims, but even after all those days of crunching these numbers, I can say it is a damn solid top five and I, I, I don't disagree with it. The numbers don't lie. So so, without further ado, here's number five. We have a tie! <laughs> After all that, yeah, there is a statistical tie for number five and number four. So, I'm gonna be the arbiter here and award the fifth greatest female comp beast to Danielle Zanato from Big Brother 8. 13, and 22. Danny has an impressive two runs in front of her, both in BB-8 and 13. Just between those two seasons, she won nine comps total, five POVs in one season, tying the record. One of the most underreported reasons she and her dad are able to even be in a position to reach that final two on Big Brother 8 is all because of her capabilities to win comps when she needs to. She is clutch. One of the classic comp beasts, consistently winning HOHs, particularly the endurance comps, when her back is literally against a wall. The problem with Danny is her BB22 game where she only wins one comp out of 15. It is a stark contrast from the numbers that she put up to get this high in the first place. Had Danny never appeared on BB22, she would be even higher than number five in this video. She'd actually be number two to give you some context, but still, top five is incredibly impressive. This girl is kicking ass in this house, period, end of story. Two POVs and an HOH. When she needed it most, she pulled it off. Wow, 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 wow. It feels amazing. Number five. I am back in this game. You know, people were scared of me before. You better be scared of me now because I've been sitting on the sidelines and I am ready. This fuel is lit. Number four. And that is why I have this player at number four instead of number five, because there was a tie between her and Danny. but I'm breaking that tie as number four is Rachel Riley from Big Brother 12 and 13. Rachel is able to match the impressive win percentage that Danny put up. She won 50% of all HOHs she competed in, which is ridiculous given these comps are individual and her BB12 wins were early on when she had to compete against more players. Unlike Danny, I think if you gave Rachel a third chance at a third season and she made it just as far as she did the other times, I wouldn't be surprised to see her put up better numbers than 1 in 15. Rachel is cut from a similar cloth as several other comp beasts we'll be talking about shortly, and it's no surprise to me she won the game on her return appearance after she won every third competition thrown her way. 33.3% repeating, of course, win rate, and that's all that needs to be said. Congratulations, for the second time this season, you are the new head of household. Ah, I won! I cannot believe I just won another HOH. Flurries, you better grab a life vest. Kristen. There is no reason to continue. It makes you, Rachel, the final head of household. Congratulations, Rachel. Number three. It's impressive to put up some strong numbers with repeat appearances under your belt, but could someone rank this high with only one season? Yeah, it might actually be easier. Number three is the high stakes, high roller. It's the repeat emplacement. It's the bronze medalist. It's Vanessa Russo from Big Brother 17. Vanessa is known for her strategic game above all else, her cutthroat crunching of the numbers with Skittles diagrams and a lot of emotional toil and tribulations around every corner. But she's also low key an underreported comp threat who is the third 
greatest female comp beast we have ever seen. And that's just off of one season. Imagine if she returned with an equally impressive, if not butter performance. She won four HOHs, three POVs, and altogether ranks in the top 10 greatest to date, including every player in the history of the show, which is ironic given she lost her season to a random question at the very last second in part three of the final HOH. But for what it's worth, when you combine both the men and the women's list, which I will do in part two, Steve ranks as the 15th best overall, so it's not like he's totally out of left field. Vanessa really should be given more credit for how good her physical game is, one of the best we have ever seen. 52 it is, congratulations to Vanessa and Austin, the two of you are the new heads of household. Vanessa gets her 10th egg, which means congratulations Vanessa, you are the new head of household. Oh my gosh, you guys. Congratulations Vanessa, you have won the final veto of the summer. Number two. I watch this performance play out week after week, and I am still kind of blindsided by who gets number two on this list. With two HOHs, five POVs, and an extra hackable win on the side, number two is Casey Clark from Big Brother 20. Eight comps in 24 tying the record for most POV wins in a season. Casey was slow out of the gate, didn't win her first HOH or POV until week nine out of 13. That is, that is wild. And yet, despite that, went on to win seven of the final 12 comps of this season, placing her this high after just one season. Was Casey sandbagging? Hmm, maybe. Was she a sleeper cell in the cast? And it's not like she wasn't up against some good physical threats such as Brett or Tyler or Angela. Casey just stepped into a zone and beasted her way to that final two. Without looking at the numbers, I always knew Casey had a strong physical game, but to be so high as to take this silver medal with a strong group of women around her, impressive stuff. And hey, credit where credit's due. It also earned her that necessary fifth jury vote to win this season. Dare I say comp wins are a vital ingredient to being successful at the game? The correct answer is 3,413 seconds, which means Casey, you win the power of it up for third time yes. in a row. Yes. I cannot believe that I came through with my fifth veto win and the last veto at that. Your fifth great veto. Number one. I have a paragraph of just numbers about this player. The number one greatest female comp beast shouldn't be a shock. It's been this way for a long time, and I don't think her title is changing hands anytime soon. With six HOHs, seven POVs, and two extra comps on the side, number one is Janelle Pierzina from Big Brother 6, 7, 14, and 22. The numbers speak for themselves. Janelle won nine competitions on BB7 All-Stars, setting the record for POVs, holding six HOHs through two seasons, and really demonstrated just how powerful one player can be when they dig deep and pull out clutch wins again and again and again. Which is also the twisted, almost poetic nature of Janelle's story. Despite being the overwhelming greatest female comp beast, it's not even close, the gap between her and Casey is large. Despite that, Janelle lost both Big Brother 6 and Big Brother seven because she was unable to win the final competition of each season. It was the comps that got her there and the comps that cost her. I will never forget watching her part three final HOH tiebreaker against a vet on BB6 holding my breath. You could hear a pin drop. Correct answer is B. We have a tie, ladies. <laughs> we have a tie. You both said 66. 1,797. Congratulations, Yvette. And since those two seasons, Janelle has mostly suffered from her success. She was taken out early both on BB14 and 22 because of her reputation as a comp beast. We've seen what happens when she gets momentum, don't give it to her, not even for a second. She won two coaches competitions on BB14 and didn't even get to play in a veto before she was blindsided. But her early two exits don't actually hold her back much because she barely competed in comps on those seasons anyway, so her numbers didn't suffer. It's one thing to compete a lot and lose, it's another to never compete at all. Okay, for the third week in a row and the final veto oh, winner, yeah, who please. could it be? Oh, it's Janelle, congratulations. Thank you. Yet again. <laughs> Janelle is unequivocally number one on this top five, but the bigger question remains, is she number one overall? What happens when the boys drop in? 
That's a question we're gonna be answering in part two. As for now, these are the top five greatest female compies in Big Brother. Let me know what you guys think about these players, the resumes. I'll provide more stats in the description if you wanna see where some other players landed in the final placements. But otherwise, a huge thank you to my patrons for all your support, for doing the heavy lifting and saving my hide. I hope you all enjoyed the list and don't forget on your way out to count the number of times I secretly said butter in this video. And I will see you in part two once I never look at another stick of butter again. Myself or James, don't go up as replacement. Oh, oh. oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Each, come on, Meech, get up there. You all right, Meech? And she beats it. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. Oh.